What we're launching is the largest fundraising campaign in the Foundation's history, $20 million by the end of 2025. One of the reasons this is necessary is because of the rapid growth in the number of people visiting Conservation Halton Parks. During the pandemic, it peaked at 1.5 million. The president and CEO of Conservation Halton knows that creates an added emphasis on the balance between caring for environmentally sensitive areas and the impact visitors have on those areas. But that doesn't mean that we become restrictive in the number of people that we allow in our parks. That's sort of our approach. That's the challenge. We think we can meet it. The numbers are expected to continue increasing. When you consider the anticipated population growth in the region, demand for new homes, and the provincial government's new homes built faster legislation, Bill 23, Bassett believes it can all work together. It has to be an and both approach we take because it's not just about building houses, it's about building a community that is in fact livable that is in fact attractive and having access to green space time and time again, study after study, proves that that is one of the key ingredients of any community. It's important for, for climate change, for our mental health and well-being. Um, it really touches so many uh, aspects of our lives. The other goals set out in this fundraising campaign are to help expand and enhance parks and green spaces, restoration projects, protection of local ecosystems, nature-based learning, and recreation. And we're well on our way already. We're, we're not uh, at zero. We're well on our way. So there will be upcoming news about how we're progressing through that campaign. Beckett is looking to connect with the community in this effort. Both individuals and businesses can have an impact beyond the grants the foundation may receive in pursuit of this goal. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton. Incredible.